Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself, and we have three days left until the ultimate anticipated super hyped video game movie to see Mortal Kombat. Oh, I'm so looking forward to seeing that. But in the meantime, I'm here to discuss my review of a sequel from the 90s that I should have done earlier, but didn't want to. But but in honor of the new movie, I'm like, to hell with it. I'll I'm doing doing the review of this of this movie right here. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Now, this movie was all kinds of wrong. Absolute wrong right here. I know that I know there's a reason why everyone who is everyone hated this movie, but there was some good moments in this one. So I do have mixed feelings for for this. Like I do love the battle scene, love the fight scenes, but some of them were quite quite bland. Yeah, absolute flawed. But I did despise how they recast some of the actors from the first movie. I mean, what the f I'm speechless. And and I really did despise despise the actor who played the villain Shao Kong. I do believe he can do better. I don't know. I mean, it was kind of off anyway. <laughs> and I really did despise the the despise the CTI. It was terrible. Well, but I so on to my new things. I really did like it how how we have some new characters in this one. I mean, there are way too many many for for a roster like this. I I mean, I really did this I really did love love the fight scene between Luke Luke Kane and, and Kitana battling against Smoke and and some minions. And I really like it how Kitana has those fans, you know? That was awesome though. It was such a pity that she didn't use them throughout the whole movie. Just that one scene. But speaking of one scene, we also get to see see another sub zero who is the older brother of the other one from the first movie. But damn he was really good good battling against Scorpion, but it was such a waste of opportunities how they only show appear on that one scene. That is ridiculous. Very ridiculous. But what's more ridiculous is how Jade is the is the traitorous villain in this movie. Oh. If I had to choose between between any jade from any adaptions, I definitely go with the ones go with the one from Mortal Kombat fit eleven from the video game. Hands down. I really did love her. <laughs> but whoever thought that she would hook up with Kotal Kong? <laughs> so what else did I hate and dis like or hate. Well, I really did. Well, even though Christopher Lambert didn't play Raiden, I'm amazed we have this other actor. Which, 
which was not so bad, bad though, even though I've seen him in so many other other movies and TV shows, like Black Lightning, for example. <laughs> no wonder why he appeared in that show. I always did admire him as Gamby. <sighs> what else? What else? Oh, I really, but I really did love love the fight scene between Sonia and Melina. That was awesome. And to think, I saw a clip of a of the fight fight in the in the new version of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I had a feeling they were fighting. They were fighting that new new adaption. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, I'm on my mind, I'm on my mind. I'm so looking forward to seeing that new movie. And I, but I really did like Jax. He was amazing. Young blood, so you want me, so you want me. I do believe he was one of my favorite characters in this movie. <sighs> oh, what else? Well, well, guys, I guess that's it. I do. So, so okay. So, for my score for Mortal Kombat Annihilation, I do believe it was horrible but 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 still enjoyable i do believe it's one of those movies that are so bad but good to me it's not really a guilty pleasure though though for me it's one of those those movies i want to see for a while though well i mean it's not on the same level as batman and robin which is ironic considering this came on the same year as that movie and both of them them sucked. So I think I'll give this one just a four. Yeah, only a four. Okay guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Be sure and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, and don't forget to see Mortal Kombat on either the big screen or HBO Max. Bye.